Want to learn how to make this really cute basket? Well, that's what I'm going to show you in this video. If you want to learn, come on and check it out. What's up, Glue Dots? I'm Elaine the Midnight Crafter. Like my sweatshirt? Anyway, tonight's DIY is a really beautiful basket that can be used for whatever season you'd like to use it for, however you'd like to design it. It's really versatile, really easy to make, and I think you're going to have a good time making it. So before we get to it, I'd love it if you hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it, and then that way you'll know when I upload new videos, you'll become part of the Glue Dot family. We have so much fun here together. Anyway, that hit the like button if you like my videos, and leave me a comment because I absolutely love hearing from you all. So let's get right to this project and see how it's done. project off you're going to want to take your wreath and measure the entire diameter. Our measurement is approximately nine inches across so we are going to want to cut from our foam board two circles that are a nine inch diameter. Um, I would love to show you this let's see if I can do it because my craft table is really small. Okay so what I'm doing is taking a compass and I set it at four and a half I'm going around and making my nine inch circle. Um, I'm going to do two of those. And this is just a piece of foam board I had, but they do have this, of course, at Dollar Tree. All right, so I'm going to get those cut out and move on. So what I've learned with foam board, because I used to really struggle with it, is that when you press too hard, the foam itself ends up like balling up and in it, in it, you don't get a nice clean line. So I'm going around a little more gently. It looks like I'm maybe getting a little bit of that. This, this stuff is what I'm talking about. But I think it should be pretty much okay for the most part. So I have my two not so perfect uh, circles cut out, but good enough. And I'm going to glue those together and paint just one side of them brown. So I'm using also my inexpensive glue sticks for this and not using my, um, my Gorilla Glue glue sticks because things like this, this part of the project, gluing paper together, I don't really want to use my good glue sticks for. I'm only going to paint one side of this. You can paint both sides if you want, but one is going to be face down. It's not really going to matter and it's going to be the bottom side of your basket. This is more of a rustic looking uh, basket, so you don't have to worry about your paint looking all beautiful. You can see that I have the paint, the brush lines in mine, and that's perfectly okay. Besides, this is also going to be the inside of your basket, so it's not so critical. So I'm also going to paint the sides of this, though these are going to be covered with moss. Now that this is pretty much dry, we're going to go through and you're going to take your first wreath and find which way it lays the best. I guess on this one it doesn't really matter all that much. It's not laying great either way, but and wherever it actually touches is where you're going to be gluing it onto your foam board. It's not going to touch everywhere, so kind of look and see wherever it actually is touching so you don't not only waste your glue, but you add extra areas that may not look quite as nice. Once that cools down a bit, you're going to go ahead and take your second wreath and stack it on top of the first wreath and glue it down so that you have as much of those surface areas touching each other as possible. So see how it sits the best. And again, it's not going to sit perfectly. These wreaths are really just kind of misshapen and kind of uh, everyone is different. 
So find the way it lays the best and glue it in whatever areas touch just like you just did with your cardboard. And continue that until you use all four of your wreaths stacked up. Once you've got everything glued together, go around and make sure that it feels stable to you and that everything seems to be attached. If it wiggles anywhere, throw a little extra glue in there to make sure that it's holding. And then the next thing we're gonna do is the messy part. So I would recommend doing this outside. I'm doing it on my craft table so I can show you because that's where my camera and my lights and my all my good stuff is. But we are actually, I would definitely suggest doing it outside because it is messy. The moss is messy, messy, messy moss. What we're gonna be doing is going around this bottom edge here and covering that with some of our floral moss. This particular one, I don't even remember where I've got it. I have had it for so long, um, but they do have moss at Dollar Tree and they have several different types. I'm just gonna use what I have because I happen to be a bit of a craft hoarder and I need to use up what I have. It's really, it's a little stressful because I, I really do hoard my craft stuff. So take the moss, add your glue around the base of the foam and start gluing on your moss. Now I've also suggested in other videos of mine, please be careful because I know some of you have a problem with burning yourselves. That is one of your biggest crafting challenges is burning yourselves with the glue gun. So if that is a challenge for you, I would recommend that you have a glass of ice water nearby so that if you do end up getting glue on you, just stick your finger in the ice water or stick wherever you get burned in the ice water and it will cool it down immediately so that you don't blister. So some of this is hanging off on the bottom. We're gonna go ahead and clean that up at the end. But we're gonna go all the way around and cover the bottom edge there of our foam board so that it doesn't show. When you're happy with the placement and you have enough moss all the way around the bottom, you're gonna go in and anywhere you have either um, globs of glue showing that you don't wanna show or you have a, a really big space maybe, we're gonna shove a little moss in there. Now you don't necessarily want it to be perfectly lined up the way it is around the bottom of this one. You want this one to be a little more kind of placed randomly. So you don't have to fill in every gap. It's just more for looks that we're putting the moss in there. So I have a huge gap here, so I'm gonna go ahead and glue in um, a little bit random pieces into that space. So I put some hot glue already in there and I'm just gonna throw a little bit to cover the glue that I just put in those places. Here's another big gap for me. So I'll go in there and kind of randomly place some glue and throw some more moss in there. Now we do have a lot of embellishments that we're gonna be putting on there, so don't feel like you have to cover every space with moss. You do still want some of your wreaths to show. So go around, check your spaces, fill in wherever you'd like, but remember, we don't wanna fill in everything because we have our embellishments too. So go around and look, make sure that everything kind of feels the way you want it to. It's kind of starting to look like a little uh, bird's nest now. <laughs> And now the fun part, we get to start doing our embellishments. So I took my pack of these burlap leaves and I don't like how just flat they are. So what I'm gonna do is give them kind of like a little pinch in a couple spots and throw some hot glue in there just to kind of break up that smoothness. I don't know, I, they look just a little too perfect for what we're doing here. 
I like using parchment paper when I'm working with my hot glue gun or actually I put it kind of under my hot glue gun in case it drips which this brand of glue gun and I have the link for it in the description box it doesn't really leak as much as many as other ones do uh, it does a little bit but not like some of the other ones I've had some of the other ones I swear it's like a fountain it, they just don't stop so this one seems pretty good and I've been really happy with it anyway so I'm going along and I'm kind of pinching where the leaf would have that little core piece anyway to give a little bit of some dimension to it and yeah potentially you could burn yourself with the glue behind there so before you squeeze it and don't put very much just put very very thin amount and then squeeze it um, if you're afraid of doing this then I would suggest maybe um, wearing some gloves or something but I'm putting very very small amount in there like I'm barely squeezing and I'm just letting whatever's on the tip kind of rub off on onto that and then it doesn't stick to the parchment paper so by putting it kind of down there you can play with it a little bit and shape it without it sticking I'm not going to do a whole lot of leaves on here because I don't want to cover up the nice um, sticks and the moss and all that good stuff and we are going to be adding some of the little fall um, berries and stuff like that so this is how my leaf came out I'm going to do a couple more of those and then start attaching them to my little basket here so I have my leaves done and I did three green and just two of the regular burlap and then the center sections too as you can see some of them they, they have the they all have the wire but you can bend them a little bit to give them a little more of a, a real leaf feel to them okay now we're just gonna go through and start attaching some embellishments on various places on our little basket here um, look at I found a little teeny pine cone in with my my moss so I decided to take advantage of that so I'm gonna actually just find a spot and glue my leaf on there pick a spot any spot <laughs> and I'm just gonna leave that wire thing it doesn't bother me the extra folded and half piece of wire um, just randomly putting very very lightly the glue on the back side. The less I put on, the quicker it's going to dry. But if you don't put enough, it won't hold. So do make sure you put enough on there. And once you kind of get it placed, then you can add a little extra. And then that way you'll know that it will hold. Got the leaves on some facing up some facing down some sideways kind of want it to be like fall leaves next I'm going to be putting on some of my berries I got these little picks I think on clearance at Michael's at the end of the season last year but um, Dollar Tree has some really great uh, picks and you can always use individual leaves you can use little individual berries so you have a lot of choices whatever you want to do the other thing is you don't even have to make this a fall decor you could do this a winter decor a Christmas basket and use different type of embellishments on it to make it a little more Christmassy or maybe use white berries do a white theme or a red whatever whatever suits your decor and your taste and be creative this is just I like to give you guys ideas here from there on out it's it's entirely up to you so I think I might be adding a little bit of berries close to some of my leaves and I don't know maybe adding a few of these in we'll see whatever whatever it brings but you'll see it in a little bit once I get these things all attached also I was going to use these little metal signs to or one or more of them and put them around the outside but I decided against that because I feel like I would like this to be something that can be seen from all sides and not have any one side be the front per se this way you can use it as a centerpiece adding in other items or whatever so I decided to leave those off 
I thought about spray painting them white and attaching them. You can do that if you choose, but I'm going to leave mine off. I decided to use this burlap ribbon that I had bought. Initially I was going to make a bow with it, but I've decided that I want to use it as a handle. So I'm going to fold the end by a little bit just to give it a cleaner edge and put a little glue in there. Very light. When you put the glue in there, just put it on one side and just barely kind of rub. You can barely even see it on there. That way if you barely put any on, it won't burn you when you fold it. If you put a lot and it goops through there, it will burn you. So start with that. Do that on both sides. And then I'll be gluing that in a couple different places and fairly far down almost to the bottom just about of my basket because there's not a lot of surface area on the inside that it will be actually gluing to so you want to make sure that you have several different places where it is touching so I'm gonna go ahead and put figure out which side I kind of want it to face as far as for a, a it's really not gonna matter actually all the sides look awesome so <laughs> just going to go ahead and throw some glue into various places along along this um, along the wood okay I, can't, I don't know why I can't talk and craft at the same time it's like walking and chewing gum anyway so you're going to put that in there and press it down so that it's touching several of the places that you just added glue to because we want that to stay really really firm in case you decide to pick it up from the handle. Alright so going directly across I hope you all can see this get in there and squirt some glue alright and go ahead and press that down on in there. You can actually add a little more glue after if you want to just to make sure that it is stuck on really well but I don't think you'll need it. If you like my videos please share them with your friends and with whoever. Share them with everybody! That really helps out my channel and that way I can keep bringing you great stuff and I know that it's stuff that you enjoy. So also give me a thumbs up and I'm going to show you this project. Okay? Mm -hmm.